welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create uh, sort of atomic uh, or satin like effect. Very basic one, but uh, I'm just going to go over to, and I'm using Photoshop gradients in it, as well as custom shapes. I'm just going to go over here to the custom shape tool, and I'm just going to create a shape, go to the layer, layer style, and outer glow now the positions uh, of these uh, options probably might have changed and depends on the version that you're using in Photoshop in C CS6 CS5 the order was different so they've changed the order so uh, outer glow is now here and I'm just going to increase the and I'm just going to set the to be normal going to change the spread and obviously that's just the basic glow, but I'm going to be using gradients in this, so I'm just going to select that one, and I'm just going to select any of the gradients here. So straight away you've got these these rings, which you can see here. I should reduce that spread down so you don't actually see the. So that's basically the the initial ring, and you can actually modify the uh, the ring as well using the. Uh, contour so you can just and these gradients are actually from graphic extras part of uh, the 32,000 graphic extra gradients um, so I'm just gonna select that you can change how the gradient is applied I'm actually just gonna go with the default which is that one now I'm just click OK go down to the alt go over here to select that alt and I'm just created another another layer which I'm just going to now just quickly rotate a little bit just move that over again and you can't see the underline now so obviously I'm going to go now to a layer once I've clicked that a layer layer style and outer glow and I'm going to change the outer glow now for this one and I'm going to go for a different blending mode, Lighten. Now, so straight away, you can actually now see the underlying glow, outer glow. So, and of course, I can just change that slightly. I'm just going to move it around because it's not exactly the position I wanted it. Just there. Right, that's it. Just a quick and easy way of creating uh, an interesting sort of atomic, I don't know, satin like ring structure. Okay, maybe it's not exactly a multiple ring planet. We haven't seen one yet, I don't think, but maybe there might be some out of <laughs> it. Could be, who knows? I'm certain the laws of physics probably will be against that, but who knows? So, and of course, at this point, if you want, you can of course always do a good old duplicate layer and edit, transform again and you can create another one and you can move it around decide where you want and of course you can change the gradient you don't have to continue with the same gradient you can modify that as well as modify the blend mode anyway hope you found this a uh, quick tutorial uh, of interest and that you'll subscribe to the graphic extras channel always adding new videos and uh, thank you much